Hey there guys, gals, and non-binary pals, it's Gormizer here once again to talk to you about the Witch of the Woods herself, Baba Yaga. Now, this Wicked Witch falls into the role that makes the most sense. She's a mage! Like most mages in Smite, she gravitates best towards the middle lane. Her ability to clear the wave alongside her safety gives her the right balance between both aggressive and defensive play. Baba Yaga has an amazing kit. With the right build and the right potions, Baba is able to control the flow of a fight by slowing her opponents or just outright killing them before they can retaliate. The damage she brings is incredibly solid for a fight, but she does need some help setting it up. Alongside a team with plenty of crowd control, Baba Yaga will shine. As much as it can work for her though, crowd control is incredibly effective against Baba Yaga, so you do need to be careful which gods you are drafting against her. As you can see from this chart, her main strength is going to be her damage, but she does have a little bit of mobility, a little bit of self-heal, a teensy bit of control and utility in there as well. She has the ability to slow or speed up her teammates, some small CCs that come through, but nothing huge for her setup. So she does still rely on her team, even though her damage numbers are, can be off the charts. So let's go ahead and dive deeper into this new kit that Baba brings into the game. There's a smidge of mobility here, a dash of damage there, and a whole cabin alongside it. And yes, you heard that right, one entire cabin. Baba Yaga's passive is Creeping Cabin. Essentially, Baba has brought her cabin to the battleground alongside her, chicken legs and all, and it now allows her to gain up to 100 essence. This is gained when your house moves around or by draining enemy gods if they get too close. When Baba Yaga approaches the cabin, the essence will either heal her over time or it will give stacks to her items that need them. Because of this passive, stacking items are a big buy for Baba Yaga, so keep items like Book of Thoth and Warlock Staff in mind when you pick her up. Baba Yaga is a hectic witch, which is manifested in her first ability, Wild Witchcraft. Baba Yaga throws forward magic that is imbued with chaotic qualities. This magic travels in a random shape, either a left or right corner L shape, a Y split shape, or an oval shape that it travels in, and it leaves behind a random magical field on the ground in the shape along with the damage that it does on cast. The magical field can be multiple things. It can boost friendly protections or movement speed. It can slow the enemy down or even silence your opponent. This is also her main clearing ability, so you'll want to be leveling it up first. This ability can be difficult to utilize though, so keep an eye over your passive meter to see which shape you'll be casting next, along with which magical field you'll be leaving behind. This will help you plan the best line of attack, whether it's onto minions or enemy gods. Baba Yaga's second ability is something every good witch has, her brew. Baba's brew is a potion that Baba throws together in her cauldron. These ingredients are random, making each potion somewhat unique. For every Eye of Newt that gets thrown into the potion, it gains damage and the potion will turn red. For every Dragon Scale added to the potion, it will gain a slow, and for every Wolf Tooth added to the potion, the brew will apply an attack speed slow and power reduction to the enemies that are hit. These are symbolized by color, so more red in the potion means more damage, blue will mean more slow, and a green will be the debuff applied to your enemies. This ability is also unique in that you can store the potion into a consumable slot later to use. This means that you can throw out potions until you find the right one, store it, and have it waiting to make that big play during your next team fight. But remember, if you have a potion in your consumable slot, you won't be able to buy a consumable from the store to fill that area without tossing the potion. The explosive nature of her potions isn't just used for damage though. Baba Yaga's third ability, Blast Off, allows her to jump into her cauldron build up explosive magic, and launch herself in a direction. While she's in her mortar, Baba gains damage reduction and knock-up protection. Along with a small explosion around the area, this ability is great for when team fights turn south and you need to make a great escape. Home is where your heart is, which Baba Yaga's cabin takes quite literally. Her ultimate, Home Sweet Home, allows Baba Yaga to jump into her cabin, having it crash into enemies and shield herself away. While in the cabin, Baba Yaga can throw out four Witch Fire Bolts which land on the ground, exploding into damage and also chasing enemies down, leaving a path of fire in their wake. Home Sweet Home also gives you a small shield, which will enable you to do your damage from the backline a little bit more comfortably. Don't let it fool you though, 
Blast Off is your best bet to escape from a fight, so utilize your ult from the back line and make sure that extra damage is where your team needs it to be. Because of the nature of Baba Yaga and her abilities, you'll need to play it safe in the early game. Leveling up Wild Witchcraft for the clear means you're still vulnerable to attack. After your first level, you'll want to grab Blast Off to keep yourself safe and dash away from any unwanted ganks. From levels 3 through 5, you'll want to put a second point into Wild Witchcraft, then you'll want to get a point into Baba's Brew, and then you're going to grab Home Sweet Home to get all of your utility online while maximizing your ability to clear the wave and farm. After your first five levels, you'll want to focus on leveling your ultimate every chance you get, then in order, level up, Wild Witchcraft, Baba's Brew, and then finally Blast Off. Now, item-wise, it's important to remember that Baba Yaga can utilize stacking items better than most mages. Because of this, along with her scaling on her abilities, Baba Yaga can be an absolute late-game powerhouse, but it, it takes some time to get there. An item like Mage's Blessing early on will help you sustain yourself at the beginning of the game, and it will evolve faster thanks to your passive. Alongside that, items like Book of Thought, which gives you power based on your amount of mana, and Warlock Staff, which gives you health and power, help increase your late game potential as you stack them up, both by killing minions and utilizing your passive. The battlegrounds are a tough place to lane in though, so sometimes you'll need something to help survive through the battle, which is where an item like Hide of the Urchin can come in handy. This provides magical and physical protections, and as you stack it, it will evolve to provide a shield as well. Other items that can be helpful could be Soul Reaver for a large power spike, late game Kronos Pendant for some power and cooldown reduction, or an item like Charon's Coin, which also has stacks, or Obsidian Shard to get some much needed penetration in this build. Just like these items evolve in game though, you'll have to evolve your build to match the opponents and circumstances you find yourself up against. So now that you know what to build and what to level, let's look at Baba Yaga's path through the game. Early on, your focus will be on one thing and one thing only, farm. Baba Yaga is a late game powerhouse, so you'll need a little bit of time before you hit your major power spike in the game. You'll want to maximize your gold and experience to get that late game state as fast as possible. Clear your wave, help your jungler, and always be ready to rotate to help a teammate in need. But you need to be wary, as being in the middle of the map means you're more likely to see the enemy jungler passing through as well. As the game progresses, you'll find yourself making some unique decisions as Baba Yaga, like your consumable slot and how to manage them. With Baba Yaga having that unique ability to slot a potion that functions as an ability, that means you have one less slot to work with if you want to keep that potion. As such, you'll have to figure out if you want health pots, mana pots, multi-potions, ward, or your very own Baba's Brew to hold in that slot whenever you leave the base. After you get a few items online, more teamfights are going to start to break out. Being in the middle of the map makes it very easy for you to rotate into these, but your abilities, well, they have a random nature to them, which can cause things to be hectic for both you and your opponent. Keep an eye on your passive to see which shape you're going to be throwing out and which potions you have so you know what utility you're going to be bringing into the fight. And remember, Home Sweet Home can be a sweet way to pick up some kills or an absolute lifesaver to get you out of a fight gone south. Once your items are stacked and you have your full build online, gods and goddesses alike quake with fear at the damage you can bring. And that's what this wicked witch can bring. Magic, in essence, is chaotic and Baba Yaga represents that perfectly. So jump in your cabin, run on its chicken legs, and go cause some chaos to the battlegrounds.